The next award is the Dr. Andrew Lyle Award in Drug Education. This is one of the more recent awards. It's gone in the past to the California PTA, to the website Arrowwood. In this case, I'm going to ask, there's somebody who wears multiple hats, and I actually need to pause because the person who's going to present this award and who has been DPA's point person on the whole issue of club drugs and health and electronic music also is the conference organizer who has just been extraordinary. So we actually stand up for a minute and give Stephanie Jones for the amazing work that she has done. Just amazing. Yeah. Stephanie, just incredible work. Stephanie's going to present this award to Dan Safe. Like Ethan said, I wear multiple hats and sometimes it gets confusing switching them around. So I am coming up to the podium now completely unprepared. I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm going to say. And this actually mirrors the um, state of many of the young people that Dance Safe works with. <laughs> so it's appropriate. Um, drug education is tough. Like, we don't have DARE anymore. And there's really... <laughs> I'm a D.A.R.E. kid, I'm proud to say. Um, we don't have D.A.R.E. anymore, which is great, but we don't really have a whole lot else for young people to learn about what drugs are all about. And we also don't have anybody in the places where they're actually going out to use these drugs. We didn't until we had Dance Safe. They really take, that organization really takes the harm reduction principle of we meet you where you're at, literally. Like they literally were people who came together to reach out to young people, going out to clubs, raves, anywhere in nightlife. They saw a need in their community and they stepped out to fill that need. And that's an amazing, incredible thing that I am so pleased that I get to honor them for. I just need to say one thing about the woman who will be accepting this award, Missy Woldridge. <laughs> she has done an incredible job stepping into the shoes of, I don't know how many different roles you've played for Dance Safe over the, t over the time that you've been working with them, but she's advanced quickly and is now taking the, the role of executive director and I have every confidence that she's going to move this organization into a bigger and even better and more important role in, within drug policy and within nightlife community. So I would like to now honor Dance Safe and ask Missy to come to the stage to accept the award. Hello. <laughs> um, first, I want to thank Stephanie. She's a fierce, and by fierce I mean fierce leader. Um, and she's been helping us tie um, drug policy into the work that we do. And her knowledge and her expertise has guided us in building conversations and work groups in this global network to share resources and information to learn and to grow and to take baby steps at uh, informing policymakers and even stakeholders within our own nightlife community. Um, thank you to DPA. Um, we're incredibly honored to receive this award. Um, and over the recent years, they've been some of our biggest supporters, their allies, and we really look forward to working with them even closer. And through this whole thing, we can truly be really proud to call them then our, our partners through all of this. Um, other than that, we want to recognize the founder of Dance Safe, Emmanuel Spirios, who's actually able to be here with us tonight, which is really awesome. Really awesome. He, um, he planted the seed for us, and he, he left us the testing kit program about 15 years ago, which was incredible. And him and our founding members, um, they educated people when no one else wanted to do it and no one else wanted to handle the issue. So thank you, and thank you for being here. Um, and you know what? A big thing, too, is a lot has changed um, from then to now. 
And since that, you know, the rave scene, music scene used to be this underground community, and now it's this huge mainstream community. And um, it's, it's our youth. That's, that's who's going to these events, all of, the, all of our youth, at-risk youth for drug use. And with all these tragedies sprawling across the East Coast, and we need to push back against this media and that sensationalized drugs and drug use and what that means and be a positive voice and a resource for all of those people. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> let Molly, people know what Molly really is and the real risks and the preventative factors that we can take. So with that, you know, we, we want to say thank you. Thank you so, so much. And we really appreciate it. And the biggest part of this whole movement is our volunteers. And that's who this ward is really for. Because without them, we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be able to accept it and we wouldn't be out there educating our youth. And so thank you guys and thank you all for everything you do every day and dedicating your time and making this possible. So thank you. Thank you so much.